Hi, I'm uh, Nat from View Real Estate down here in Hobart, Tasmania, just giving you a rundown on the last quarter of the rental market. So we're seeing the average rent for a unit um, of $430 per week and a three bedroom house, $530 per week. So nice and steady there. Um, and as I just said, the rental market is steady. So uh, the last few months, we've just sort of had that lull, um, whether that's been interest rates, high end property sort of um, just days on market have drawn out a little bit, but we really are starting to see that just starting to tick back over again, which is really nice. So if it's if it's priced right, it will move, which is really important for your property ma property manager to do their research, making sure that we, we're getting the right price on the property. Just an example of that um, for you guys is I had a two bedroom unit in North Hobart, um, $430 per week. I had one open home, 10 groups through, three people apply and it was gone really quickly. So, you know, again, priced right and affordable, it will it will move. Um, <clears throat> springtime, it's here. <laughs> so I'm already starting to get calls about people um, uh, moving next year, owners wanting, you know, um, wanting that lifestyle change, they're moving to Melbourne for work, moving overseas. So I'm already starting to have that conversation with people about leasing out their property for next year. So if that is, if that is something that um, you know that people are thinking about, let's start those conversations now. Let's start them early because we know that, um, you know, the end of the year is fast approaching high quality tenants always looking at the start of the year. So, um, you know, plan it well. So that's sort of what I'm saying. The, the phone is ringing um, regarding that at the moment. Uh, vacancy rate is 0.6%, which is nice and low. Overall, my tenants aren't moving. They are staying put. Um, just because of that, they, you know, it is, it, it is expensive to move for them. So if they aren't changing their lifestyle, <laughs> Um, and they are happy, they aren't moving. Rent increases from last year are about the two to 5%. So um, that's what we're seeing just as a, as a general guide there. Um, Tamika, one of your questions you had that we wanted, you wanted us to share was where should we, where should investors buy? Where should they look at buying down here in Hobart? Hobart's a very big, <laughs> big area. So um, I was having to think about that. I was doing a bit of research. So anywhere from Goodwood, so the median um, sale price in Goodwoods are uh, five sixty five thousand. So and you get looking at the rents there, five thirty to five fifty per week. You're getting long term tenants. You're getting families. Um, so anywhere from Goodwood right through to Bridgewater, we are finding a really good areas uh, to purchase that you know um, have lots of in inquiry, affordable for tenants to afford. So that's what I'm seeing there. Um, but overall, springtime is here. The rental market is ticking along lovely. Uh, over to you, Sharon. Thanks, Nat. Hi, I'm Sharon from Harcourts in St Helens. Um, our lease renewals, we've had a 95% lease renewal on all leases. Most tenants are choosing to stay put. Um, that is seeing um, a rental increase of about $20 to $30 per week on those properties there. Um, we've had an increase in new rental properties coming on the market, so it's sort of been a bit slow for the, the past couple of weeks, but we're seeing a few more coming on, a lot more coming on in the next eight weeks, and again, people moving um, at the end of the year towards the middle of next year, who are already starting to start those conversations of they're relocating for work and things like that, so it's really important to get that done now, I think. As you know, Christmas is a pretty busy time, so if we can get those conversations happening now, it's going to be a lot easier to rent further down the track. Um, we are still seeing a huge demand for rental properties on the East Coast. Um, most of our properties have been leased without advertising. We've got lists of, of applications, good applications for rental properties. Um, so the turnaround time for landlords is fantastic. Um, tenants at the moment, we're looking more at couples or single income families. So that sort of is why our properties over the 380 mark at the moment are sitting on the market a lot longer than, than properties under the 380 a week. Um, there's still a huge supply and demand issue, as I'm sure you're all aware. Um, applications for each property around 15 to 20 per, per property, which is fantastic. Um, but again, yeah, properties sitting below the 380 are gone within days. So there's, there's the no need for the advertising there, which is really good for all of our landlords. Um, properties that will allow pets is a huge demand down here. We just don't have them. 
Um, so I suppose having those conversations with the landlords that, you know, there's there's things in place that we can do to, you know, eradicate those issues. Um, good in good areas for investors to, to be looking at right now would be St Helens. There's quite a few good investment opportunities down here um, that would be really good. The return on investment is fantastic. So having a look around the main area in St Helens around the CBD, close to schools and shops and things like that, there's quite a few good investment opportunities down here at the moment. Okay, that's all from me. So over to you, Diane. Thank you. Um, I would say that we're very similar to Sharon, actually. We have got a lot of tenants that are staying put. Um, they're not moving anywhere and our average is between $20 to $40 um, for a rent increase. Um, we're also seeing super long days on market. I don't know what it is. Um, things that are sitting, you know, 450 and below are gone within seven to 10 days. Things that are 450 and above, I'm seeing sit for 14 to 21 days and interest is next to nothing. Like we're booking inspections and no one's even turning up. Like, you know, they're sending in the email inquiries then they're actually not turning up. So it's super hard for me to I guess for an investor, it's super hard for me to encourage them to buy those higher end market properties because I don't have the results that are, you know, going quickly. Um, and the sale prices aren't reflecting the rents that they should be at the moment. That's my struggle that we have. So, you know, a unit that's selling, one of our sales agents sold a two bedroom unit for 585,000. How do you reflect that rent? Like that's, that's phenomenal. Um, but then at the same time, if you can get that result, that's amazing for those investors. Like it's fantastic. I think that we're just having to work a little bit harder <laughs> at the moment for our investors, which is fine because that's what, why we do it and why we love doing it. But it's definitely proving to be a challenge um, for everyone here in our office. Um, we were sort of the same, a little bit slower. No, you know, not too many properties coming on the last quarter. And in the last week, our BDM has absolutely brought in uh, I think she's brought in 13 new properties ready to go in the next week. So we are just hammered here at the moment. I don't know what's happened, but it's just like the switch has flicked and now everyone wants to rent again. <laughs> so we're back down um, and head down bum up and it's just super busy now, which is good getting it to Christmas and tied over and then all enjoy a well-earned break. <laughs> um, so that's it for our department um, and I'll pass over to Samara. Thanks, thanks, thanks Diana. Diana. I'm Tamika from Key Two Property. Um, we look after the Launceston and Meander Valley market um, here. So we're seeing really much the same as everyone else in the state at the moment. We're probably a bit more similar to Nat in Hobart, though, um, that um, the, the market's a bit more reflective there. We're seeing at the moment our vacancy rate is 0.3%. So those same kind of numbers, average house rents we're finding are about 550 a week for your three bedroom home and units of 450 a week. So homes at, at the moment over the last quarter have been slightly unaffordable. So that high end has been slower, but the more affordable um, is, is walking out the door and probably 40% of that is actually being leased off market, not even going to market because obviously every agent at the moment is working really hard with those pre-approved tenants to get them in and not lose them to somebody else. Um, so it's been pretty consistent for the quarter. Um, and, and like Deanne just said, the last week, I think there's been a change in gears. I don't know if it's the weather or, you know, people have got their head around the interest rate changes now or, or whatever it might be. But um, oh, there's a lot of new listings coming in at the moment. There seems to be a lot of people moving out of Tassie or they've bought their second home. So they're renting their first home out. So there's a lot of that going on at the market, um, in the market in our area at the moment. But I think that that will probably flood the high end a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the next quarter for high end properties. Whereas the, the mid-range affordable homes, they're still walking out the door really, really quite easily. Um, lease renewals between our two offices at the moment are at 99% um, renewing through until February. So we got in nice and early and tried to lock in the summer leases. So we know um, with an average of a $30 per week increase, um, the properties that are turning over, we're seeing about a $50 a week increase. So we're trying to keep that happy medium, keep our tenants in, get good returns for our owners. Um, but obviously if they turn over, we'll, we'll make the market value. Um, our, our main 
tenant inquiry at the moment is families. We've got a lot of families and we're just starting to see the professional couples um, inquiring ready to, to gear up. Obviously, we revolve around the, the hospital here, so employment there is over summer, so we're starting to see that come in. Um, the hot hot market is obviously around that $500 a week Um and in real terms, that's a buy price of about 600000 at the moment. So the returns are still not amazing, but they're, they're getting closer to 5% for investors' return on investment. So we're getting back to where we want to be. Hot areas to be looking at in Launceston at the moment, uh, South and West Launceston, um, we're getting good returns and good inquiries. And in the Meander Valley, we're looking at Westbury and Deloraine, which have got really good return investments at the moment. We're sort of getting to that 6% in those areas. So that's really good. Um, so that's it for Launceston and Meander Valley. And I will hand over to Sam, who's standing in today for Emily from One Agency in Burnie. Thank you. Um, so Emily McCarthy from the Property Management Department here at One Agency Burnie. We service both rentals and sales of properties from the Circa Head region to Turners Beach. At the moment, we have a vacancy rate of 2%. The turnaround for releasing a property is quite fast. Lately, we have leased any advertised properties within a week of listing them. And November lease renewals have resulted in quite a few people vacating rather than renewing. We have not Oh, sorry, we have not yet advertised these properties, but we do have a list of suitable prospective tenants and have potentially leased some of the properties prior to advertising. Uh, we are seeing a lot of the medium investment properties sitting at a cost of around 350 to 400 range, leasing the fastest within a copious amounts of applications. When speaking to prospective applicants and tenants, we found that these prices are the most suitable and attainable for people looking for a rental as it is well within their budget. We have noticed that the, there is numerous tenants applying for properties, pushing their budget to the absolute max to try and step into the renting. Mm. Our lo local market has been quiet over the last few months during the winter period. However, things are starting to pick up more now. We have noticed more applications on property lately than in previous months, and we think the demand will continue over the summer months. Uh, we have seen quite a drastic increase within the last year of the prices that we were once had. When speaking to investors, it has a lot to do with the price of purchasing the investment property itself, the costing of maintaining the property so it is the best quality for a tenant. And then lease renewals are sitting at an increased rate of $20 to $30 per week to compensate with the increases of interest rates and costs involved with owning a property. And that's everything from Emily. <laughs> Great. Thanks, everyone. So there's the wrap up for Tassie for this quarter. So tune in next quarter to hear what um, is going to be happening over our busiest um, period.